welcome to my first drive with me video. I've been meaning to uh, make one for nearly over a year now as I have had my car for nearly over a year now. I haven't driven it for literally a few months due to this, you know, lockdown and uh, virus that's eating around the world right now. The car I am driving in question is a very, very kind of boring to be honest. Ford Focus Gear Edition model whatever you want to call it. So I was meant to have two cameras, but the one over there literally just fell over. And this person in front does not know how to stay in the lines. I can't have the aircon on either because you won't be able to hear me that well. I'm actually gonna die in here. Why am I wearing a hoodie? Before you get annoyed at me for, you know, leaving my house during the virus, I need to get petrol. Um, I currently have 39 miles left. No one likes going to petrol stations. I want a Tesla for that reason actually probably sweating it's actually not even nice oh i'm opening my window i don't even care sorry if the audio is shit <gasps> someone's done a bad thing things that are actually quite good about this car they're all on the inside because the outside is horrific and quite boring quite frankly we've got a leather seat we've got heated front seats we've got electric driver's seat so i can you know yeet back can't reach the pedals now this car does have air conditioning as well I'm not putting it on because it'll go through my petrol quicker which i'm already limited on and you wouldn't be able to hear me as well so Instead, you have to watch me just sweat and die. Also, it has cruise control. That's the best part about this car, because I'm lazy. Don't know what the stress is about people going on the motorway. It's just a dual carriageway, yet there's more room. So arguably, it's nicer, because there's more room. You know? Then, you know, there's not much to fuss about. Oh, it's actually started to rain, what? Now, to go to the list of things that are bad on this car, which is considerably longer than the list of things that's good about the car. Wing mirror, um, that was hit. So the right mirror, you can't electrically change it. You have to basically just punch it with your hand and hope it goes to a nice position. The plastic around the mirror, all cracked because as I said, someone hit it. The rear bumper is loose. It's missing a few screws or some clips have been snapped. The gearbox in this car is the worst thing about it. It's the notchiest and like sometimes I have to use all my energy to get it into first. It's actually horrific. And um, I looked at the service history the other day and um, the gearbox oil has never been changed. The clutch as well is super heavy. My clutch pedal is heavier than Logan Paul's wallet. Clutch is on the way out as well. Oh, also my windscreen wipers are shit on this car. Whenever it tries to wipe the water, it just smears it. So I actually just can't see where I'm going. That's fun. When you get a car and it has leather seats, you're like, oh, fancy. But then if it's cold, the seats are freezing cold. And if it's hot like this, the seats are just warming you up and you're basically in an oven. The electronics are definitely on their way out and the central locking as well. This car went through a phase a few months ago where I'd lock it with, from the key and all, every, all the doors, the boot and everything would lock except for the driver's side door. So I'd have to use the actual key and shove it in and you know, twist it or whatever. Um, so that was fun. And now it doesn't do that anymore. So fuck <gasps> knows why. The alloys on this thing are also horrific. Like you may bully people for having steel wheels, but seriously, I'd rather have steel wheels than the alloys that are in the, the state that they are on my car. And I bought them like that. So I'm not that much of a retard that I curb my wheel all the time. I mean, you get those people who don't even care and just bounce their wheels off the curb, but I'm not like that. I actually try to look after my car. Speaking of look, uh, looking after my car, during this lockdown, because I've had nothing to do, I've literally cleaned it so much. Literally every week I've cleaned this thing. Also, the wheel isn't aligned properly. So when driving straight, the wheel is slightly off center at the steering wheel and it's very off-putting and annoying. This car hides rust like a TV presenter from the 80s hides their paedophilic tendencies. Sometimes if I brake hard, the car does veer off to one side. But hey, I have a steering wheel to counteract that. Also, the indicators decided to spasm out the other week. Um, so I had to replace them. That was fun. Oh my God, my eyelashes always get tangled because um, for some reason I have long eyelashes, so that's fun. I know they're there to try and stop shit getting in your eyes, but half the time they're the things that's in your eyes. Is the petrol station I'm thinking of going to, is it actually open? Because I really hope it is because it's Tesco's and I know their petrol's super cheap right now. I won't lie, I do feel sorry for um, all of the people who wanted to, who had their driving lessons and driving tests when this virus decided to shut down the world. Although at least you save money because driving lessons are really expensive, like unnecessarily expensive. I don't know why they're so much. My first driving instructor wasn't even good and it cost so much. Did I bring my wallet? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I can actually buy petrol. That would have been really bad. Would have had to go all the way back and I wouldn't have had enough miles to get back. So I would be walking. It's actually the way to college for me. How boring. In terms of mods that I've done, I've done literally nothing. I've just done a few interior things 
added more USBs, got a dash cam so that if um, a BMW driver decides to rear end me, there's definitive proof. And if I rear end someone, then I'll just swallow the SD card and it'll be fine. Added some LED lights because I'm a teenager and teenagers can't get enough of LED lights. Unless of course you're a colorblind teenager, in which case, you save a lot of money. Some random are just sitting in the road. Finally, jeez, waiting here for ages. It's not usually like that. Oh, you're just gonna go. All right, nicely done. Proud of you, well done. Oh, it's closed off. Oh, that's beautiful. Now I have to reevaluate this whole journey and think of where I can go to get petrol. Uh... All right, well, there's tons of pet. There's like literally four petrol stations in a local town. So I'll just eat over there. I think I may park up first and attend my fallen GoPro. I haven't had the park in years. I say years, months. See how bad I am at it. This is the only bad thing about having a big car. I say big car. If you're American, it's a small car. If you're European, it's actually a medium sized car. But most people my age have cars that are like minis or like fiestas, they don't get focuses, you know? I'll make another one of these, which I think I want to because I literally have nothing else to film because all of my video ideas involve going outside and meeting with other people. That's fun. All right, let's continue and actually find a fucking <gasps> petrol station. It's actually cooled down a tiny bit in here, so I'm not nastily sweating as much, but I'm still gonna overheat in a second. This rain's actually pissing me off now. It's actually weird finally making one of these because since I want, since I got my car, I've wanted to make a drive with me video. But I just, I'm just lazy, I guess. Because I watch them all the time. It only took a whole world pandemic for me to actually finally make one. So, hey, at least we're here now. Currently have 30 miles left um, in the tank. Hopefully one of the four petrol stations up here. Oh, there's temporary traffic lights, my favorite. Hopefully one of the four petrol stations up here though is open for use and has petrol because there's one that just has always, always runs out of petrol and only has diesel. And it's so annoying because it's also the cheapest one. I actually have to start work tomorrow again. In case you don't know, one of my jobs, I work in retail and I already know the customers are not going to take any notice of the rules and are just probably going to come in and just cough on us. I actually haven't driven in so long, I'm surprised I haven't stored it yet. This car, as I've already mentioned, is a gear model. So I think that's like the most luxurious version. Um, instead of like, it's not a sporty model by any means. It has over a hundred thousand miles. So whenever I get in it, I feel like it could break any second, which is, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit of tension, you know, when, when you're driving, it's quite fun. Going down the motorway, will the wheels fall off? If you watch my last video, which has actually done very well. Oh, I want one of them. Just not in that color, that's a shit color. But if you have watched it, thank you. Nice to see you came back to watch this masterpiece of a video. But yeah, most of the uh, clips in that dash cam video is down here because this is the way I come back from college and and there's tons of roundabouts as well and there's just every other driver is a BMW or Mercedes driver who's super entitled or doesn't have any indicators only had to emergency stop once well, it'd be nice if um, they indicated but hey they were driving a BMW you can go go on go on are you okay? Oh my fucking god. Some people. She was, must have just been on her phone or something. She's trying to creep out now. Oh, I just... I don't get people, you know. If I'm waiting at a junction, obviously I'm looking anyway to see if I can go. So I'm going to continue to see if someone lets me go, you know? Like I flashed her and I was stayed back purposefully and everything. And So painful being nice these days, isn't it? Oh, look, a skip. That was actually nearby here um a few years ago skip fell on a car um didn't kill anyone don't worry it was just like crushed the bonnet of their car most likely a write-off but still story to tell the grandkids almost killed by skip falling on me this is actually a new gopro i have an old gopro which was going to be my secondary camera but you know how that ended Come on. see they actually looked i'm so proud of you well done it's actually weird being in the car not playing music um but I mean, I don't have, I, I need new music to listen to um, because I'm one of those people who just like find two songs that I like, listen to it on repeat for like a month and then get bored and have nothing to listen to. So yeah, if you have any music suggestions, please post them down below. And now we're going down into this town with the four petrol stations. 
Also, there was actually a Black Lives Matter march here the other day. And who decided to come and ruin it? All the EDL members. To any EDL member out there, tell me why my iPhone charging cable has more brain cells than you. Now there's this petrol station here, um, which is the cheapest, but also usually never has any petrol and only diesel. So we'll see. Oh, they have petrol. Oh my God. Magical. Also, that's a nice Jaguar in front. Are they gonna leave or are they? Oh, cool. Nice, even better. All right, BRB. Oh, damn it. Over by a few pennies. Yeah. We'll keep the change. Yeah. You want those two? No, I'm right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, I was low key worrying because um, I've like tons, I literally have three cameras in here two GoPros and my DSLR. Literally, how depressing is it that the camera gear I have in here is worth more than the car itself? That's not even a flex, that's just a depressing statement about how cheap my car is. Also, gonna put my seatbelt on because I don't wanna become a playable character in GTA 4. That's kind of filled up half my tank. That'll last me a year if this uh, lockdown continues. Seriously, this sunny weather, I better stay here for when this lockdown is over, otherwise I'm gonna be so annoyed. I'm just gonna want a whole refund on 2020. A red light, my favourite. I oh, I could be awkward and drive through the town. I haven't been through this town in ages, actually. There's never any parking spaces here. All right. At least I know in the future well, there'll be parking spaces here when there's a global pandemic or when the EDL have uh, decided to return. I have a feeling no one will want to be here then. You can go. You can go. You can go. Again, not paying attention when you actually want to fucking leave the road. I, I watch a lot of dash cam videos and the amount of entitled pedestrians you get who think they can just walk into the road and cars are supposed to stop. So no, that's not how it works. Like, I don't want to turn you into a new hood ornament for my Ford Focus, you know? I like my Ford Focus in the color blue, not in the color red. If you're a p pedestrian, just cross when it's safe to and I'm literally giving, this is stuff you learn in primary school and you still get adults just walking in front of cars. It's, it's great, it truly is. All right, I'm gonna go back home a different way. Oh, a Tesla, I want that. Uh, I should have gone because you took your <gasps> fucking time. There's a Persia now in the way, joy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm male, I can't multitask. I have to get for, past this roundabout before I can tell you a story. So, that's a fuck, you know. I'm gonna go when he does. You're on my shield. Um, but yeah, I was stuck around, like, up that road when I was coming home from college. And obviously people get buses in college. It was the bus I used to get before I learned to drive and got a car. But um, the bus was like meant to, or the first one to leave the roundabout. He was the first in the queue at the roundabout and he just didn't leave. Like seriously, it's like he, he just put his bus in park and was like, I'm gonna go on my phone for a few minutes. So no mate, you have places to be and you're in the way of us, literally. Just, we were sat there for half an hour. It wasn't even busy. Like even I, someone with a very low power, well just, not fast at accelerating car could have yeeted through many gaps in that and he just sat there and it was i don't know maybe he had to like tell some of his passengers off my first car crash i've ever been in was when i was in a bus i was going to college on the bus and someone decided to bash into the side of the car car bus english is my first language it doesn't mean i'm good at it though if you hear random uh clicking um it's actually my finger my bones and joints click more than a cricket in gibraltar does so Apologies. Like, I, I would not like to go to a small car after this, as I've previously mentioned, probably. Lots of people my age have nice small cars, like Ford Fiestas. I would never get a Ford Fiesta just because it's literally the most popular car in the country. I think maybe even in the whole of Europe. Because um, they are good cars at the end of the day. It's just boring if you have a car that everyone else has. Yeah, most people have Fiestas, VW, Polos, Vauxhall Corsas. Oh my God, who doesn't have a Vauxhall Corsa my age? Oh, well, obviously me, but you know what I mean? Like literally, they're so popular and they're not bad. It's just when everyone has the same car, it's boring. Now that I've had this big car, it was annoying to get used to. It's big, it's harder to get down, especially if you're in a small town, it's harder to get through the town because the gaps are tighter. So you hold your breath when you go through tight gaps. Wouldn't do that if I had a mini, but comfortably fits five people in here and i could go to ikea and not be stressed there's a van in front of me is going very slow 
don't even care. I drive slow. I have a black box, so I have to drive slow. <laughs> Not that this car can even go that fast, seriously. The car's acceleration is just uh, zero to 60 in a few months if you're going downhill. How come there's always a BMW stuck behind me? Like, I've got a black box. I go the speed limit, okay? Even if I didn't have a black box, I'd probably go the speed limit because I don't want to, you know, there's a, there's a camera up here for a start. Let's watch him zoom past me. Yeet. That is, yeah, you're meant to stop behind the line, not on it, but sure. Some people don't get it. I've never used the GoPro that I'm filming with right now. Oh shit, the battery's actually quite low on that. Um, I've never used it, nor have I ever used this lav microphone that I've got here plugged into my phone. So hopefully it all goes well. I've been recording for 50 minutes and the battery on the GoPro is nearly dead. So that's kind of annoying. I actually enjoy driving. I'm one of those people who enjoys driving. So this just gives me an excuse to uh, go for a drive if I'm making a drive with me video. There's someone walking in the road, what the fuck? <gasps> okay, I mean, I'll just drive around you, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, if you have enjoyed this video, which I've actually enjoyed making, and I'm hopefully gonna enjoy editing it as well. Sadly, the other camera decided to kill itself, but we'll sort that out, I'll revive it. Hopefully for the next episode. Next episode is not a fucking series. Next video, Drive With Me, that I do. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe and like it. And if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it and comment down below what I could do to improve it. Feel free to follow me on Instagram um, and like my recent post if you think it's worthy. There are updates on my social medias like Instagram and Twitter about how my videos are going. Soon when this lockdown is gonna be over, I'll actually be able to do all the videos that I've wanted to do for months, um, but just not been able to. Okay, I think I should end the video here before it runs out of battery and probably corrupts the file, which I would actually, that would, I would actually just cry and probably drive into that lake over there if that happens. <laughs>